In this short video today, we're going to look at angles and angle measure. And in your next video on your sheet, you're going to go back to the Khan website and watch a video on how to change radians to degrees and degrees to radians. But I just want to talk to you a little bit about angles. And so if we have our coordinate plane here, check it out. I have an x and my y axis, and I have an angle on my coordinate plane. My angle is formed by two rays. The ray that is on the x-axis is called my initial side, and the positive x-axis is called my initial side. The ray that can rotate about the center, center being the origin, 0, 0, this ray is called your terminal side. And so right now this angle is in standard position because its initial side is along the positive x-axis. So we're just going to look, if I go, and we're going to make a few angles just to take a look at some. If I draw my initial side on my positive x-axis and I go counterclockwise and say I come way over here and I call this 135 degrees. So going counterclockwise with your terminal side will give you a positive angle. So I can do another one, draw my initial side. Maybe I come all the way back down to the other side of the x-axis. And now we know a straight line gives us an angle of 180 degrees, positive 180 degrees. And I can look at some more. Um, but what I want to look at is what happens when I, let me change colors again. When I have my initial side on the positive x-axis, but I go counterclockwise. So say I have this angle right here. Or sorry, when I go clockwise, when I go clockwise, this gives me negative 45 degrees. Pretty easy, right? So when we go clockwise, let me draw a couple more graphs. If I go clockwise, let's say I come over here, let's go all the way to the other side, but I'm coming this direction. I'm going clockwise, that gives me negative 180 degrees. Now I can rotate a full circle. If we, here's my initial side, and if I rotate counterclockwise a full circle, full circle, how many degrees is it? You got it. 360 degrees is a full circle. What happens if I go more than a full circle? So I have my initial side and I rotate once, but then I keep going, another 30 degrees let's say. Now I will be at, I had already gone 360 plus another 30 degrees, so now I'm at 390 degrees. So there I'm at 390 degrees. And this though also looks like, let me just draw one other graph. This also looks like it would be 30 degrees. Now, those angles, when they're in standard position, they have the same terminal side. These angles are called co-terminal angles. Co-terminal angles are when you have two angles in standard position and they have the same terminal side. So 390 degrees and 30 degrees are co-terminal angles.